Hi and welcome to this introduction video to the Editor Camera Manager. What this extension allows you to do is save a camera position inside the editor and restore it in the latest stage. This way you can navigate your scenes easier, especially if they're getting very big. So once you've installed the program, you can open it by selecting Window, Editor Camera Manager, Open Manager, or just use the shortcut Ctrl E or Command E on a Mac. Here you can see a list of your safe camera, which of course is empty right now. And I've set up a demo scene here with some piles. And let's say I just want to save this position because I know I want to come back to it later on. So I name, I name this position pile and click save. And now you can see there's a camera called pile added to this list of safe cameras. So if I am going to this other pile and edit here a little bit and then want to rest uh, return to the previously saved position, I just click go to and the camera automatically goes back to this previously saved position. If you want to update the data a little bit, uh, you can always just turn the camera around, turn the view around, click save again, override it, and then you have the new, new scene uh, stored in this camera. If you click on this little arrow next to the name, you can see what data is stored. So here you can uh, change the name, of course. You can specify if this camera is attached to this scene or not, which means if I open up another, another scene in, um, let's say uh, I have this demo scene 1 here, and I open it up, you can see that the Pi 3 camera is not in this list, because it, watch, uh, it is attached to the demo, demo scene. And the scene name is of course the scene in which which it, the camera is attached to. The size is how far you are away from the target. Um, is orthographic means if the camera is in perspective mode, like right now, or in orthographic mode. And and then you have the the values of the position and the rotation to get you a little better control over it. Okay, so uh, let me explain the attached to scene a little bit. So, for example, you have multiple levels which have uh, basically the same layout or uh, the same view. You don't have to uh, create new cameras for each and every scene. You just... Okay, let me create an overview camera here. I close that up. So, okay, I, I name it overview and I disable the attached to scene. So now I save it and if I go to the demo one scene now, I also have this overview camera right here. So if you have similar levels, uh, you can use that feature so you don't have to set up your camera positions for each level. So go back to the demo one scene. To make it even easier to navigate with these cameras, I created some quick slots on the left side here. You can assign a camera to a quick slot by just dragging it over. So I, I click on the, uh, this icon here, this camera icon and then I can drag it to, to a quick slot. The quick slots are accessed by these shortcuts here. It's, it's Alt plus 1, uh, 1, 2 through 9 and also 0, so the number keys plus Alt. And now if I just um, I turn it around here and now I press Alt 1 and it goes to the overview camera because it's in quick slot 1. And if I just um, have multiple cameras here, I can switch around between them very easily with the shortcuts. Uh, you can also save a camera position with the shortcuts, so you don't have to, to specify a name and it's quick and easy. So let me go to a pile here. I have this position here and I want to, uh, to save this position very quickly. I just press uh, Ctrl 3 on a Windows or Command 3 on a Mac. And now it saves this position to the, the third quick slot. And it names it quick uh, slot 3, so you just can continue on editing your scene. So I add another one, quick slot 4, and now I have two slots and I can easily navigate around this pile. These quick slot cameras um, are al always attached to the scene, but you can rename them and then they're uh, just acting as a normal camera. This of course works also uh, if you have multiple scene views open, so let me just uh, select the four split here, and now I have four cameras. You can see here if I select the, the top right and I still have all the, the cameras selected and if I go to the top left one um, you can use that as well. 
And every time you save a camera, let me use the shortcut here for a quick slot, you can see it's sh it's shaking a little bit. Let me do it here so you maybe see it better. It's shaking a little bit so you can s uh, you see what scene view was saved so so you get a little little feedback for that. That's basically what uh, what this program is doing. So I hope um, it helps you and uh, if you have any questions uh, just just ask me in the comments or send me an email. Thanks. See you around.